So when we were imagining what uh, we wanted this to be, uh, we were just thinking of one of our local hub meetups, but on steroids. It is the first time ever that we are bringing so many L&D Shakers together. And I just know it's gonna be magical. It's gonna be the first fully L&D Shakers um, in-person event meet in Amsterdam on the 7th of October and just have a full day of working together, learning together, co-creating and sharing best practices, seeing where we go from there. The collaboration in the team is beyond anything that I've worked in before. The, the, the shared camaraderie of wanting to do something for other people without monetary reward. It's been a joy to work with that team. So it's a gathering of like-minded people uh, that are going to be thinking deeply about what L&D should be in a world that has much more automation and usage of artificial intelligence. It's a gathering for a group of learning professionals to meet each other, create deeper connection, and co-create a future for learning. A place where like-minded people can share and actively take home what they learn and put into practice in reality. That is a great event. One of the first things that comes to mind about the format is that it should be interactive. It should not be a, a one-to-many uh, discussion. And what I love about it most is that it really focuses on human connection. So for me, learning is an active process and the meeting is an, not only in a, a mentally active way, but also in a physically active way of uh, learning and sharing your knowledge with other uh, like-minded people. Go home with a ton of excitement and additional passion for our jobs. I'm looking forward to this event in order to meet more people within the community and to see the diverse range of opinions and methodologies throughout the L&D Shakers. This is going to be the event of the year for L&D Shakers. So, sorry, what, so what it means for me? Yeah, what is, what is this event? Describe what this event is without using the word non-friends. Okay, so the non-friends is... Uh, no, can't use the word non-friends. Oh, yeah.